Good morning guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason. This is Old Car Auto Guy and if this is the first time that you're tuning in, we do a lot on this channel. We focus mainly on my used car dealership which you can see behind me. We do some projects like Project Grandma, the old Mopar, Project Blowing Bubbles. If you don't know what any of those are, you'll want to stay tuned to this channel. Now recently we've had a little bit of a busy spell yet again and we have been on somewhat of a buying spree and a selling spree. So let me show you some of the vehicles that we've bought since the last time I gave you a lot update. Now you guys remember in one of the last videos last week we went to Montreal and we brought in a 2014 Nissan Versa Note. Yes, Nissan. Nissan. And that one sold very quickly because I had it ordered for a customer, but while it was here, we had a lot of interest in one. So I, per I picked up another one, and this is a 14, again, 60K. It's an SV model, so it is loaded up really, really nice. Things like heated seats, aluminum wheel, fog lights, all that good stuff. We did end up selling the 2014 Rogue, and we replaced it with a 2016. Noisy tires on that truck. 2016 with 99,000 kilometers. Again, this is an SV model, so it comes fairly standard with the panoramic sunroof, as well as the wheels, the fog lights, backup camera, all sorts of goodies. Here is the Forte that I did not hit with the Sorento. Now, I can't remember if I showed you guys this car here, but this is a 13 Dodge Avenger. This one has a little bit higher mileage than the black one that we have, that's a 2013. This one has 162,000 kilometers, but it is in really good shape and uh, we are selling this one for $88.50. And again, we picked up another cheap one. This is a 2009 Chevy Aveo, much like the 2008 hatchback that we've got back there. It's an LT model, uh, so therefore, again, fog lights, it comes with the wheels. This one's loaded up really nice for a, for a very uh, entry-level car uh, from GM. Uh, we picked this one up, and I believe it's ready for the lot. Don't think we have it priced just yet. We've also got this 2015 Ford Escape. This is an S model, but it does have the aluminum wheels. It's got the uh, 1.6 liter in it, and uh, it's loaded up very, very nice. Black shows quite well, and uh, this one has just hit the lot. Uh, still needs to uh, go in for a uh, pre-sale inspection. I believe that's kind of why it's sitting over here, and not up there with the rest of the SUVs. The 2009 Malibu, we took a deposit on it yesterday. This is sold. Uh, the customer is just waiting for an insurance check to come through. They had a little bit of an accident last week. They're driving a rental now and they'll be back to pick this one up probably by the end of this week, maybe first of next. And as you can see here, we are still sitting on our Chevrolet products. Looks like we've got ourselves a little mini Chevy lot, but uh, these are all good vehicles. Right from a 14, uh, a 15 Chevy Cruze, 14 Chevy Cruze, 14 Sonic, 17 Spark, and the 11 Chevy Cruze. This has uh, 209,000 kilometers, which is about 130,000 miles, 59.95. And there's Grandma over there looking all dapper. And the only thing that's ours back here is the 2008 Chevy Aveo 5. This is a hatchback. It's a five-speed. It's LT. So again, it's loaded up really nice uh, with a manual transmission. Need a little bit of work. Customer traded it in on that 2009 Kia Rio. And uh, so this one here has yet to uh, go through the shop and get cleaned up. That will be a job for today. Everything else is just either customer vehicles. The red Dodge Ram is uh, for one of our drivers as well as the Tundra. They are currently on their way to Edmonston, New Brunswick to pick up a car that I bought on, their, uh, on the auction block up there and that's about a three and a half hour drive. So they left at about six o'clock this morning and uh, they will be back probably or just a little bit after lunch today. So guys, there is the little bit of a lot update that I'm giving you for this week. And uh, we'll be back with some uh, more action here in just a minute. So it is Tuesday night and we are out at the shop and Tim is working away at getting the manifold fixed on Project Grandma. So let's take a look and see what's going on in here. So by the looks of things, he's got all the nuts cut off, and I think he's just in the process of getting it... Uh, six of eight. Oh, six of eight, I guess. And getting things broke loose, and hopefully in about 
five minutes, we'll have a new manifold put on there. Right, Tim? <laughs> so the old manifold is off. Except for the end of it right there. And now comes the fun part of trying to get the uh, broken studs off. But I have faith in Tim. So we've got the new studs in, all cleaned up. Tim's just putting some RTV on the gasket so that we can get the new manifold in there. And I would say we're about 70% done. Yep. So we won't be too long when we'll have this thing started back up. No more ticks, at least from this side. Now, Tim, all these Crown Vic and Grand Marquis guys are going to be sitting on the other end of their screens laughing at us because they knew damn well that that AC had to come out of the way in order to slide that up in there with the studs in. And they also knew that if we didn't do it that way, we would have to take all the studs back out. So yes, that's exactly what we're doing right now. Is we're taking the AC compressor, which is right there, taking the bolts out to move it forward so that we don't have to take these studs out. Because if we take the studs out, those bottom ones up front are gonna be a bugger to get back into place once the manifold's on. But this is my first Grand Marquis, so give me a little bit of slack. Besides, I've been working so hard on it. Well, we managed to get the manifold on. There it is down in there. Don't she look pretty? And we didn't even have to take the AC compressor completely off. We just undid the bolts and slid it back enough so that we could slide the manifold in there and it wasn't hitting up against these AC lines. We've got the uh, Y pipe connected back up. Tim's just putting the uh, belt back on the front here and we're almost ready to fire it up. And there you have it folks, it is the next day and I bet you can barely even hear the car running behind me, it is so quiet. I want to give a huge shout out to Tim, my mechanic, for making sure that he was able to get this going in a timely fashion. And this is just the phase one project with the exhaust. We had to get that manifold fixed before we could go any further. And once the exhaust parts come in, we'll get the dual exhaust set up. And of course, we'll bring you guys along with that as well. Don't forget to head up Sussex Beard Oil in the description below. I will set their link right here. You can get a discount by using the promo code GloveBox. When you buy a regular size beard oil, you can get a travel size absolutely free. All you gotta do is put both of them every morning that guy. <laughs> All you have to do is put them both in your car and add the promo code and you are good to go. Guys, I'm still looking for license plates. I have received about a half a dozen of them already and according to some of you, I'm expecting some more. So we're trying to get that wall art project finished up as well and we will be getting back to that in the near future. So stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. I love you guys. Wait, 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 wait. I don't know. I was thinking about scuffing it down and painting it the same color as the car. Yeah. No. Try and get back to it. Okay. I forget where it left off now. So guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. I love you. God bless. We'll see you in the next video. Top of